Hello guys and welcome back to this week's Sundays, not getting you ready for Monday. This is the end of the journey that uh, I've been on for my son, as uh, you all know that I've been painting this week. But I haven't been painting the normal things that I would paint like this. This is what I'm going to be painting today. This week I have been doing a painting over on my son's wall of God of War. And I've already stuck on his... Um, Primed and ready one, already stuck there to his wall. If you want to go check that one out, that one is over on Instagram. Guys, my name is Blute084, B L U T 084 Art and Games. And today we're going to be painting this one. I've already primed it, as you can see here. I've already primed it. Again, you can see that one over on Instagram. Same name, different place. Um, but yeah, this one is a magnet, and this one will do anything magnetic. It is kind of. Um, kind of defective, but I think if I was to stick a few more magnets on there, it'd work better than that. But there you go, guys. That's that's a magnet. It stays same as these ones, same as all the other ones I've made up here. I made the uh, Spider Man up there and the Thor's hammer. If you want to go and check those on those ones out, they are in the videos in the playlist. But yeah, I so said we're going to be. We've already primed it. So we need to paint it up. Make it look something like we need to paint the handle a bit brown, and also I'm gonna go a little something to show you towards the end of it a little bit of a life hack. And um, because uh, I get a lot of pain when I'm, um, uh, I have to say, if I've been drawing all day, this finger still begins to hurt anyway. This thumb and these this finger here really hurts when I play computer games, especially God of War. Oh my god. I have, sometimes I have to stop playing it because my fingers is like, <laughs> and it just, uh, you know, hurts. So I made myself a little brace, and that's. Um, okay, that was a text message. I'll read that one in a second. But yeah, uh, life hack. Got myself a uh, hand brace. That didn't quite do the job, but it does help. Um, and uh, yeah, so I made myself a couple bit braces. I'll show you what those are uh, later on and what how I use them. But first, we need to get the first primer paint, uh, sorry, the first part of this painting done. Make sure you always got something down on your table, guys, because, uh, you know, you will paint your table. I've painted my table many times. Not this one. Got a little uh, crafty table down there, which I've, I've moved up to this one. But uh, that one is it's covered in paint everywhere. From top to the bottom. Right, I've got myself some bog standard. I don't know this is quite old now, but acrylic paint. You know, out of the tube. You can get out. Excuse me. You can get out a tube. This is quite takes. Not expensive stuff, but it was expensive when I first bought it. Um, now you can just probably get it anywhere and everywhere. Uh, but yeah, squeeze. I squeeze a little bit into our into our thing here. Just again, it's just acrylic paint. It is the the concentrate stuff of it. You can water it down, which is what I'll probably do if I can get any out. Is this black? No. Well, like I said, it is so old. So I have to really push to get it out. I might have to make some brown, it looks like. That brown's not doing what I wanted it to do. Don't want to use purple. Um, that's all I've got. Okay, so uh, let's get a paintbrush and... Soften. Okay, that's hard as old crap. That's my fine brush. And uh, that's also my fine brush. And I haven't got mixer. Okay, ah, there we go, mixer. So you get your, get your pot of water. Put your paint in there. Again, it's like absolutely nothing there. But you can wet it. Or maybe not, in my case. I know it's working out. It's going now. Not very well though. So, I mean, that's going to be nothing. We need paint, not water. Um, that's all I've got here. That brown. I was actually counting on that brown. I thought there was plenty left. There must be another tube because I've definitely used brown. That bloody yellow's gone hard as well. Crap. Uh, you can make brown with green. And yellow, but I just found another grain, another brown. We cool, right? There should be enough in here to lick over that. 
So let's just move that out of the way. Move that more out of the way. And let's see how this goes on. And that went on all right. If I didn't prime it, it probably would have gone on better. There we go. This is basically just a prime coat now. Not good though. Not as good as I wanted it to be, but it'll do. We'll see how well it dries. And if it dries well, we'll keep it. I'm probably going to have to go over it again by the looks of it. But that's okay. Painting never, painting always takes layers. It's never just one. But again, like I said, guys, this is magnetic. I can't really show you how I make them magnetic. That's kind of a trade secret. But uh, I can show you how I paint them. And uh, each time I make one, guys, I will make one in on stream. Unless I've made a um, pre one before that. Oh, little dash. I don't want to cover up the bottom here because that is going to pummel. That's actually working out quite well. The silver underneath. Yeah, I like that. Make sure I get in all these nooks and crannies, though. And the brown's all right, actually. And the blade's not. Blade, there you go. It's uh, made out of pilo fake. I keep calling it pilo. Get pilo paint, uh, clay. I worked in restaurants and loads of places like that. <laughs> So every time I hear that word, I think, oh, pastry. Um, right, okay. Then that'll dry quite quickly, it looks like, but I have to leave it dry. And let's have, let's get a bit of blue and a fine line. That's green or not green. Well, I could mix green and, if that doesn't go on well, I can mix the green and the blue of these two colours because they're quite good. This one, this and this one. I can feel the insides are still quite squishy, so I might be able to make a good brown with that one. We're going to green and blue make brown. You mix a bit of red in there, and you make purple. And then you can make another brown on top of that. It, brown is one of those colours, you kind of mix everything together and you make a brown. Different shades of brown, the different colours have used. Different used, different colours, different shades. This is lovely. That's why you always use the prime colours from reds to blues to yellows to make all your other colours. Because it's the only colours you have when you first start. Uh, I'll try a bit of this blue. I don't want... Oh, thank you very much for that like. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to paint too much over the hand, uh, too much over the uh, strings here, but I am going to put them in the blue for now. <coughs> I don't know if I should. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Do you reckon with these strings, should I paint this piece wooden? So we've got wood around, the, so the string is wrapping around the wood. I can't remember what the handle looks like on the bloody axe, even though I played the game last night. <laughs> I can't remember. Sorry, I just got a text message. Okay, yeah. So what was this handle? What does the handle look like? Does it is it all brown all the way up, as in it's wood uh, connecting the uh, axe part? Or is it uh, stringed up? 
I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments, guys, because uh, if you've got access to check quickly, I'm literally making a quick text message because if I don't, I'm going to get in trouble for it. So, uh, sure, uh, here, just bought them. So, yes, here, I'm there. Should read that out. No, come on, stop going on the camera. Okay, now, uh, using your, yeah. <laughs> yeah, using my WhatsApp. Yeah, my son's texting me along with his mum. Uh, I'm going to be picking him up after the stream. So I'm kind of trying to rush through this and trying to get everything uh, the right colours. Do you know the colours? I don't want to get it wrong. Well, it doesn't really matter if I get it wrong. But let's have, let's have God of War Axe. God of War Axe. My images. Oh, God Axe. Looks sake. God of War X color. <laughs> That's just God of War X will do. You hear me using my WhatsApp? Of course you do. <laughs> what the? Oh, come on! <sighs> Things not cooperating. Right. What I've made is completely off off cutting, but it does go metal. I made it completely wrong. Oh well, never mind. Um Oh it's got even got a back piece as well, isn't it? Oh well. Guess I'll just guess then. <laughs> I'll bargain to it. I'm gonna I'm going to do however I like. Because <laughs> there's no actual, uh, no thing. So, yeah, let's just get some paint down. i got a bit of blue here. I'm going to lighten it up it had to keep it in with um, theme because it is a light blue. It's not a dark blue. I'll have a light blue. Um, nice acrylic. But because I've already got silver in it, it should have a little sheen. Just a little sheen. Yeah, that really does need another coat. Um... Let's get rid of that brown there for a second. Don't need that. Don't need that paintbrush. Do need my little fine brush. My little fine brush here. It's a bit knackered now, but it'll do. Um, I do have a finer one than that. I keep putting, picking up the pissing handle. Um, yeah, there you go. Little finer brush there. Well, it's not finer. That's actually quite finer than that one. But uh, I use the really, really fine one because I just like it. I need that. I've got a little bit of blue here. There we go, show you the paint. Blue in the corner there. I'm going to put some white, uh, not in the next one to it, but the one just opposite, so there. So in the middle of that little palette, I can grab a bit of blue. Shut up, boom! A bit of blue. And scoop a little bit, scoop, scoop a little bit of white, mix it in. And if you're anything to do with art, you'll know what I'm doing. You know, I'm mixing colours to make one other colour. That looks like a nice blue. It's quite light. I'm not going to get any of the greys that I've been using because I've had enough of grey. As you've probably seen this week, I have had enough of grey. Um, let's move that there. Don't need that. Do need it on that table. Again, can't stress how much you should have something on your table when you're painting because you will get it on your table no matter how clever or how... Um, careful you are you will get it 
on your table. So if you're new and you don't know all this stuff, make sure you find something. It could be a bit of paper. It could be a magazine that you don't like anymore. It could be like I've got a uh, pizza. When I go for a pizza, I keep the um, bases and I use them for placemats. I also use them for um, doing this. It's really, really handy things. Uh, put a little bit of paint on there. I am going to cover the whole thing here because it is meant to be wrapping around. I'm not going to um, paint the piece here. I will paint the string gently, but I'm not going to paint the axe itself. Well, the pummel, because I think I should leave it like that. It looks a little bit better. What do you think? Look, looks okay. A bit close up there. What do you reckon I should put all of this in brown here? Think about it, I could put this in brown and then add that as like a underlayer. Way I'm gonna have to put that down. Looks good. Okay, I'll keep it like that. Again, this one is a magnet. I can't show you now because it's uh, painted and it has to dry, but uh, this is a magnet. I like my spider hands up there. If you didn't check those out, I made those on the stream. I can't wait to see all that message. What are you saying now? Let's shrink that down. I can see you. Let's minus the zoom. There we go. Now I can see what you're saying. Uh, why are so many police sirens near you? <laughs> it's because I live on the main road. I live on the main road in and out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even hear them anymore. It just reminded me of GTA when I hear a police car going past me. Oh, shit, what have we done this time? <laughs> oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, the police sirens, I can't do nothing about. There's always police sirens in the daytime. Sometimes it's not police. Sometimes it's actually an ambulance that you hear. And that's because the main depot is about half a mile away from me. And it's the main in and out where I live. People will, um, where they launch from, if you like. You don't notice any of that when I've got music on, huh? Do you see why I put music on? <laughs> I'm not putting any on today, just didn't could be asked. Could be asked to find anything. Keep getting coffee strikes from the free, copyright free music, so I don't know why that's working out. I want to put this in the microwave and dry it, but I think if I do that, um, the um, microwave might go pink because of the chrome on there. I don't know. I don't know what they did to make this metallic. So it could be all sorts of materials in there. Could stick it in the oven, but the paint didn't do didn't like that very much last time. The acrylic's fine, but the um, chrome I put on the on the axe didn't seem to hold up very well. Well, I mean, it did, but it seemed to soak its way out again. When I touched it, it would every time I touched it, it would uh, leave a little bit behind. When you won't now, nothing. Rub it, all sorts. But if I was to bake this, it seems like the polymer clay sort of, sort of pushes the paint out of it. I might have to give these a couple coats. Try and be really friggin' delicate here. Mmm, 
Mm, that's looking all right. <clears throat> so we got uh, a little bit of paint on the handle. The handle was definitely going to need another go over. Um, maybe a little splash here and there for the. Oops, sorry. A little splash here for the things. I'll let that dry a second. Go back to the brown without burping. Um, I'm just using this brush. Oh, wait, you know what? No, I'll use that other idea that I was going to do. That paint seems just a little bit too wet for what I'm trying to do. It didn't soak in that well, and I want to give it a nice brown colour. So let's find those. Oh, there you go, there's that green. I've already got a bit of that blue. So we'll put the, again, I'll put it in separate ones. The green there. Where'd that blue go? I don't know, where'd that blue go? Oh, it's there. No, that's green. Look! Oh, it's there, idiot. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully you enjoy it the next time you come and see. Leave a like if you do. Thank you have already, so thank you very much. Right, get the paintbrush dabby wet. Not super wet. Grab that green. Mix it up there. Pretty much picked all that green up then. Pick that green up. And we'll mix those two together to make not brown bugger um dash and i mean a dash of red in there dash no that's dry as fuck that's dead maybe if i put uh, a bit of purple more blue but i like it's purple nope definitely gonna need red so Find some red. A little bit in here. Most of my poster paints are gone now. Not poster paints, what am I saying? No, that's fucked as well. No, I do have red somewhere else. Oh no, I should use that brown, shouldn't I? Just used up all of my decent colours. Well, that's a nice colour for that. Put that in there instead. No, okay. Let's muse it up. Do you need that anymore? Or do you need this now? We're just gonna paint over this. May as well use it up if I've made it. It's not gonna go brown, I don't think that one. Not easily. Trying to be slap dash, oh man. Trying to be too slap dash with it. I'll keep an eye on the time. Four o'clock. I've got half an hour or less than that. No, I'm going to leave like that. Like that. Uh, as for the brown. I'll just use what I was using. I'm going to have to. Does I have no brown but to, uh, to speak of? Get another brush because that one's knackered now. And so is that one. Right. Let's get this one. I've got loads of little brushes. Love it. Yeah, it's going on a bit better now. Second coat. This is wall paint. <laughs> Why is it a bit watery? Because I have been using it. Watered it down a little bit so I could carry on using it. So I think I've watered it down a bit too much for this. Really. Okay. Should be just enough time for me to show you my life hack. 
ke OSM. Okay, there is nothing else I can do to this now. That it is too wet to do anything else with. But there you go, guys. There's one axe made out of polymer clay, pummel, and uh, there's the good stuff. If you want to check out how I got that chrome look, definitely go over to Instagram, guys, where I showed you what paint I use and how I painted I use that. Leave a like if you do like this one. I'm going now to move that one so I can show you my life hack like I was telling you at the beginning of the video. So let's move that. Let's move that. Don't need any of this. And uh, right. So what I was saying is when I'm holding this controller, guys. Oh, when, you know, when I'm tap, 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 and away because that got a war, you only basically use that for attack. You do swap and swip and don't really get any pain with these. Um, so what I did is I made myself a brace because I'm always holding the thing like that and I'm always doing that. My fingers get really, really sore. That one and that one there. Get really, really sore when I'm uh, playing games for a lengthy time. Because you know I play for about an hour to two hours. My palm on my hand was really beginning to hurt. So what I did is I got one of these cheap ones from um, my local pound store. So that was the brace for the hand, and that really helps when I'm drawing as well. So if I'm drawing, it um, stops any like um, cramping happen. That that comes in real handy. But what I did was I made one of these because this finger, like I said, when I'm on here, and I'm doing this really, really hurt, really, really hurts. What I found is it needed a little bit of a space between the finger and the controller because I'm used to the Xbox and so on like that. So what I did was I got a bit of polymer clay. Wrapped it around my finger to see the sort of size where I needed it. And then uh, put a little, like, almost an extra little button. So when I'm pushing, not pushing directly on the controller, I'm pushing on the pad thing I've made here. And trust me, that, believe it or not, that little stopper actually helps a great deal when I'm gaming. Because as you can see here, it's resting up against the controller, not just not hurting the controller, not rubbing up against the controller so I'm getting too close to it. Actually just gives me that little bit more space to um, sort of wiggle my finger around but without having to really crunch it up sort of thing. So yeah, that's one. And again, I get like rubbing underneath under my two fingers around the finger here. Uh, I get it about there. I do also get a little bit of pain here on my hand, which is all gamer hand problems. So when I'm really getting pain in the daytime, I'll... Um, Put that there, and that sort of supports the 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 uh, tendon here a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. Um, but when I am gaming, I turn it around, and that's where the the little point comes in handy. Instead of going up, I'm going down on this one, and uh, again, it rests. It rests on the controller. You can't really see there, but it rests on the controller where my finger is. So I'm not gripping the shit out of it. I'm gripping the thing. Um, and yeah, so I'm going along. No more cramp for me. No more rubbing on my hands. And uh, the finger doesn't hurt so much. That's my little life hack. If you want <laughs> some made for yourself, because I'm thinking of making a little line of them, sending them out with my magnets and stuff like that. If you want one, some for yourself, and you want some sent to you guys, let me know in the comment section. These are just prototypes, so I'm, they'll probably be making a few more of these. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. My name's been Blute084, B-L-U-T-084. Blut084. Don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to ding the bell. I'll see you next time. Leave a like if you do. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.